Here we go. All right. Um, uh, greetings and good afternoon. Welcome to the Dennis County Board of Commissioners Transportation Committee meeting as of Tuesday, October 15, 2019. Um, I am Kelly Robinson. I am the chair of this committee and vice chair of the Board of Commissioners. As is our custom, we're going to go around the room and just introduce ourselves. We'll start with the county administrator and end with Madam Chair. Uh, Mark Teal, county administrator. Jessica Theriel, assistant to Mark Teal. Danielle Sherry, who's with the collaborative firm. Michael Hatchard, the collaborative firm. Dr. David Gis, classic director. Miguel Valentin, transportation director. Gary Watson, commit business transit services director. Okay. Jackson Jones, the chairman of the board of commissioners and vice chairman of transportation. Very good. Welcome, everybody. We've got, a, as always, a pretty full agenda. Um, I'm Miguel Valentin, the Director of Transportation, but also the Executive Director of this committee. Um, facilitation, Miguel, are we ready? Yes, sir. All right. Mr. Chairman, first order of business will be approval of the minutes of the September 17th, 2019 meeting. All right. So, hopefully, everybody got a chance to read the minutes that were created by Jessica. Um, um, can I get a motion to approve as submitted? So moved. Second. Any conversations, edits? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? All right, I'll keep moving. One, oh, quick one more. So y'all are not on TV right now, so so we're videoing from that camera. So we should we move? Up yes, sir. We're we'll sort of stuck, down. stuck to the third chair right here. So. Come on in. Yep. Sorry about that. Thank you. All right, Miguel. Yes, sir. Next order of business would be uh, a report for trans from transit services, uh, an update by the collaborative firm, right, and me. other topics <laughs> right here. Yes, sir. I'm going to yield the floor to Michael Hightower and Danielle Cherry Huber from the collaborative firm for okay. their uh, monthly report. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, so we're giving just a monthly report just to elaborate on uh, all the wonderful efforts from last month to date. Some of those include completed and ongoing projects such as advertisement. So since the launch, uh, we wanted to be consistent within the marketplace. Two of those locations that are ongoing advertisement areas are Chapel Hill News and Views. So uh, most recently, uh, it came out the October issue. So it is a full page ad, and that continues for the next three months. So again, we're talking about consistency from now until not only the end of the year, but turning that curve into the new year within the marketplace. Uh, the other is Hometown Advantage. Again, for the next three months, because of how it, it's printed and mailed out, that will extend us all the way into the end of December 2019 for its three month cycle. But the one good thing for both of these, it still adds um, opportunity within the marketplace into the new year. So the print date is mid to end December, so it'll continue us into 2020 as well. Any questions, sir? Keep going. Other things that are consistent uh, is social media. So not only do we hit people in print, those who are tech savvy and more than uh, 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 the average person that you know has a smartphone. So whether or not you um, read uh, Chapel Hill News and Views or Hometown Advantage, we got you on your smartphone. So social media, uh, we are continually putting updates weekly and these are some of the topics. Uh, to increase education and visibility. So fixed route operations, fares, riderships, signage came up um, just at the BOC meeting just yesterday. Most of the, that was actually a post um, just last week and it had visibility and engagement. So any questions that come up, we let people know, um, calls to action. So here's an example of engagement. This one came directly from Facebook. Um, a lot of the engagement comes via Facebook rather than Instagram. Instagram, some people thumbs up or, you know, what they call heart it or like the photo. This is engagement in real time, and we answer the question. 
this person, uh, Miss Israel, said, hey, is the bus running today? Yes, it is. And here's more information. Not only is it the phone number that they can call, but if she's uh, Miss Israel's tech savvy, which sounds like she is, because she sent us a message, we let her know the Passio Go app. If she wants to know if the bus is running in real time, she can, by all means, still call, send a message, but she can look up if the bus is running in real time on the app. So we're utilizing social media as another call to action with engagement. We don't know we that we're not going to belabor this point. But again, we're back to Adam Chair's you know, mantra going into 2020 about uh, customer service or citizen care, for the sake of just a, 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 a spin. Um, and are we saying that we need to move to a more form? Are we using social media as a citizen care element beyond our, what is Connect Douglas doing? What is Concentric doing? to serve customers. Like those are two different worlds, right? How do you engage? Those are the formal, um, I call up the phone, I'm looking for support, and you have this social media. Now I know certain apps like WebMD, like my doctor, whomever, you can call and they actually will respond to you. So what are you saying? Now, and it's not put you on the spot, but what are you saying? What am I saying? Uh, what I am saying is this is an extension of what you call citizen care. If we have the opportunity to de deliver customer service, even in the social space, let's maximize that. So just as if someone were to walk into the transportation center, yep. mm -hmm. and all the wonderful people behind that window say, hey, how, thank you for coming, how may I help you? This is the same extension. So this is an extension of Connect Douglas customer service. So with that point, just make a note, just for you guys, who's gonna manage that? You need dedicated. Now, as much as people should not be on Facebook all day long, <laughs> <laughs> they do what they do. So they let's, talk, they let's do. keep this what this where it is. And so, but if you want to, if you're going to, I mean, are we going to just play with it every now and then? You get out there and you do something that's part of a platform, and you're, you, or are we actually committing to this? And I want you to sort of come up with sort of a, a way to think about that, right? In other words, well, what does it cost me to have somebody? Who, if you're going to do this, do this right. Or are we just going to play out there every now and then? We'll go out there. I mean, I ain't checked Facebook in two weeks. I mean, I literally have not, literally. I'm sure I've got about 400, you know, um, different types of responses and notifications. But my point is, right, I mean, it's not a way of life for me. But are we committing that this is a way of doing things now? Or are we just sort of like, it, it sounds good. The social media, it sometimes is a, it, it gets play play. And I'm, I'm asking, are y'all actually offering up something that says, y'all should really consider having somebody dedicated to, to this aspect. We don't know what it is. We can't, just, I mean, don't answer the question today because you don't know the we answer. Won't. We'll come but, back. But, but, but please. Yes, sir. Is that? We'll come back with the answer. Well, absolutely. What, um, I'm, now, I'm sure you get what, what we'll you come and back. I talk We'll come back to the answer. Yeah. How do we handle our system? Okay. We got you. Just so we're clear, the okay. point that we're going to come back to is having um, potentially a dedicated service and extension of customer care via social media. Madam Chair, are you in agreement? Please put that on the list of just. We can talk about. Of these. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gary? Thank you. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Again, feedback, social media. Someone asked, um, uh, is the bus service coming to Women's Parking Lot? And it's an opportunity for us to not only get um, feedback uh, here as well. So, again, an extension of, of the evaluation. So this is where we're not only uh, getting feedback of potential locations, so the naysayers saying, I don't like it, uh, it's not nowhere near my house. Our response is, have you thought about uh, flex ride or where do you suggest? So mm -hmm. feedback okay. is another opportunity. And this is another um, ongoing activity, and that's just traditional lift drops. So if you're not on your phone, uh, you don't call, you don't stop in the transportation uh, a center, we try to get you where you are. So if you're going to any of these places, uh, there are the schedules um, and brochures. Actually, uh, in collaboration with Gary's um, uh, staff and team, we're meeting Thursday just to review the list. Um, so these spots are, are being touched at least once or twice, some more heavily, for example, Crossroads Church, they're very active. Mm -hmm. All star very active, so we're reevaluating that list um, and seeing uh, what works best. We have two crossroads church churches, which 
I always say the, the one near Thumbs Up Diner because that's where yeah, I eat. Yeah, that's <laughs> what Stuart was The okay. one across from Thumbs Up Diner is correct. Stuart Park. Do we need to add the other one? Is that, was that where you were going? There was know. one on, um, thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is a living lettuce. We don't want it to grow astronomically. We want to be very um, intentional okay. of where we, we place these. Mm -hmm. And so if you have other suggestions, we're open to those as well. Okay. Next ongoing, um, oh, well, let me give you an update um, on uh, these two things, uh, what we call videos, short and long. So first is that 30 second um, television ad, and Gary mentioned it yesterday at the BFC meeting. This is with, uh, within Comcast cable network. So this is to be um, not only an uh, amazing opportunity for visibility, so again, we got social, got them in print, now on TV. The other is um, to update what we call the long version video, and that's what's currently on the Douglasville Happenings uh, e-newsletter um, on the website. So that's the video that you all um, know and currently in the market or marketplace in you know, Douglas County. So the how-to video, there's some things that um, we wanted to elaborate on from when it first aired. So we're actually tomorrow getting additional footage in conjunction with DCTV. So Rick and his team were gathering footage, for example, dropping money in, a, in the fare box, how to read a schedule, giving some educational points, and timeline, if you can see that. The 30-second video should be completed first. Um, we're actually in the midst of, again, this week, additional footage, do the voiceovers, let Rick and TJ and do their magic on editing all this wonderful footage. That 30 second will be completed first. And then what we call the long version, which we, um, no more than three minutes, will be completed next. All before the end of this month. Mm -hmm. And the 30 seconds, we should have that. Um, I don't want to speak for TJ, but we're on ahead of schedule as far as this timeline. So at least a draft of that 30 seconds should be next week or week after. All right, so end of this month, so by the next committee meeting, you will have this before us. And so the first meeting in December, you will be ready to make this live to the Board of Commissioners uh, and then roll off first year. And give me a timeline. What am I listening to? And Gary, and I know there's, probably, there's, a, there's a broader plan, so I don't want to get ahead of it, but this is a deliverable that we, we committed to from Madam Chair early on. So I just, it, it, it's, it's part of a bigger plan, I know, but we also agree to deliver it. So. Mm -hmm. And this is prior to the new year. We're talking about a product that can be out in the marketplace prior to the holidays. Mm -hmm. We want to maximize viewership okay. and the levels of education. Yeah, we don't want to be missed out on you. Are we too late? No. Are we too late? Not at all. No, not at all. No, sir. No, sir. We're on a good schedule. Well, no, not at all. Yeah. We're ready. Not unless we're going to labor it now. We're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. And we're as far good. as good. the time frame, or the timeline that we um, proposed, mm -hmm. we're a little ahead of schedule. Right. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so you got Thanksgiving the next month. Let's just be honest. You got thirty days out. You got Black Friday. I mean, obviously you won't get all busy and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously. Um, so so, can we? Uh, I, I'd rather not make this in another committee moment. Then I don't want to um, bureaucratize approval of letting this out to the public by having to come back to the committee that I'm chair. So I'm going to do um, an administrative concurrence. Once I get done, at least one of us have to see it mm -hmm. um, to, to bless it. And I say go straight. Because you're going to, based on what I just said, you'll miss that time frame. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, so, so you committed to having this done by the end of the month. So by the 1st of November, we're ready by election day. We're ready to go? Yes, sir. Are you committing to that? Yes, sir. That's what we're shooting. Yep. Right now, are you okay yes, with that? Oh, yep. two weeks. We could allow this new video. Yes. Okay. That's nice. And we'll update you along yes, the progress as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. And you actually hit on the point about maximizing the foot traffic during the holidays. Yep. Mall coverage. Obviously, our replace mall is going to be frequented quite often mm -hmm. um, for the Black Friday sales into the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So actually, we've met and confirmed with Gary some opportunities um, with in our replace mall. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, to maximize that foot traffic, especially within the Poopo area. 
Thank so you. here are some examples. Yep. And obviously this is not a uh, true version, but the idea of the table tent that will be there with an armor play small, um, themed appropriately Cadet Douglas, and have it themed um, use Connect Douglas for your shopping needs. Right, so we're re reaffirming our message. We are, we are re reaffirming our message and ma maximizing the window. Yep. So we're not going to miss out on that foot traffic. And the idea is that having all of those completed, the table sent up um, 1st of November. So on, uh, again, ongoing um, activities, uh, still connect up with hosted events. Um, for example, I spoke with Rick about the trick or treat on the 31st. Mm -hmm. um, we have plenty of uh, uh, color braided uh, lollipops left. <laughs> so um, others working with Gary on what works best, but still being out in the community and maximizing those events between now and the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And then more importantly, we uh, heard feedback with uh, the enhancement uh, efforts within the business community. Actually, um, I actually spoke with Breezy just yesterday. Um, Chris so we're Chris is here too. So getting on their calendar next week um, to uh, maximize opportunities. I actually spoke with Thornton Road Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, what is that store? Thirty-two fifty. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm on it. Uh, we're, with our, our with our efforts with the collaborative firm, we're actually reaching out and sometimes hitting them in different directions because one avenue, especially with the WalMarts of the world, sometimes you have to meet people where they are. So going to visit store thirty-two fifty, they are very susceptible with putting things in the break room and doing events yeah. just for mm -hmm. staff as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be, be strategic, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's an important area. It's highly visited. It's the most on onboarded area. Is that right? That's right. 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 That's like We all appreciate that. That's yeah. why she spent some time there. Okay. She's great. So Good not going. only working with the businesses directly, but obviously uh, Economic Development Authority okay. um, and here you Have you met with Chris Pumphrey? But that it's just left him. Uh, yeah, he's actually um, here today as well. So I, I spoke. Oh, with <laughs> 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 my bad. Okay, there he is. He's back there. I, I spoke with Breezy just okay. yesterday to confirm uh -huh. schedules as early as next week. So we did speak okay. with Miss Stratton. Mm -hmm. Who's Miss Stratton? Miss Stratton. Miss Stratton. Miss Stratton. Let me pause right here just for a segue. And, and Chris, we're being filmed, but can can you um, tell us what have you heard? We've done the ninety day readout. This is part of that process, but you're. you're you were part of the reason why we did this, right? We're not just have to meet the commercial. Um, have you had a chance to be briefed yet on the results or sort of kind of? Um, at, at this time, no, we've, we've not had any. We, um, we're, I think when we last, we do what we call uh, corridor meetings. I think when we did our last one, things were kind of just kicking off, so we haven't had any real, you know, we're right. on clip, we're only video from this camera. So if you, yeah, so I'm sorry. So it cuts <laughs> off like right past that chair. I need a sorry for it. It was going have to get a sign. Stay in here. <laughs> no, I should have pointed at him. Yeah, yeah. And the reason I, this is what I'm asking because this is important for me that we did yesterday during our work session. We had our first readout um, in the paper. Obviously, they did an article on our ridership. But yesterday, Gary did an excellent job in briefing the full board of commissioners on our work today. Um, and I, I, I want you to be involved in that loop because uh, there was some feedback regarding the, the commercial corridor, mm -hmm. the area that you uh, obviously we were focusing on. So we need your feedback. We need sure. your awareness. So sure. go ahead. Say yeah. What so you, say. Um, you know, as, as we, we talked before, public transportation is is a is a typical requirement that is asked from prospective businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, do you have public transportation in the area? You know, and for some, it's a requirement. If you don't have it, you're not on the list. And for others, it's not a requirement, but it's a like it's, it's a, a like to have uh, added to it. So um, we're we're now able to say yes, we do have that as an option as businesses consider um, that that particular area or the community period, you know, for a new location. Um, we do engage with our businesses to find out, you know, kind of what's happening within within the company. We haven't kind of gotten back to our rounds for those those companies, especially on Riverside and Thornton yet, to kind of get their their feedback on that. Um, we did host a corridor meeting, but I think when we hosted it, it was kind of just kicking off. So 
Um, so I'm not really sure what their feedback is at this point in time, but what we will promise to do is get some feedback from that to report back to you all. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and so I'm Daniel, you're going to pick back up right to this point that um, this, this not be broad brush. Let's look at the data now. All right, so some of, some of what we, we should be talking about going forward now in our um, future action plans has to be like, okay, we got this commercial corridor, it looks a little soft. Right, and that was one of the drivers for doing this. Um, beyond time frames that has been framed as far as it being not be aligned, we really need to get out there and figure out how do we educate them, how do we penetrate that. Um, um, not that we can't find the right person. It's just me. I mean, we we gotta we we have to. Um, Gary, I'm hoping that we've got a, an approach and a plan for, for reaching out. Right. In other words, well, we it's not a we built it now get on it. You've got to engage them. You've got to do it. With, with nothing, but there has to be a tighter alignment regarding this. And so I'd, I'd like to see some improvement in those numbers, all those numbers, but especially that one. Mm -hmm. Now I recognize that you only go to work once, but you may go to the store for multiple reasons. No, I gotta go for this, I gotta go for my kids, and this, I gotta pick this up. So there'll be more in sort of the retail components, but as, as opposed to that, what, what I consider that commercial industrial route. But how do we improve that? And the only way to improve it is to engage, get that feedback. Well, we're, we're making Route 30, the Thornton Road, Riverside Parkway Corridor, a priority. Uh, Danielle's talking about some of the things that, right. that, that she's doing, and also, uh, through Madam Chair's leadership, uh, we've arranged a meeting tomorrow uh, with a representative of the Tourism Commission. They approached us uh, uh, and they want to talk about how we can help the, the hotels mm -hmm. down through that, that corridor. So that's uh, something that we're going to be uh, trying to uh, improve upon as well. Keep going. And we'll come back at the next meeting and up there all of this, Ms. Madam. Keep going. I know we break through the cell, but it, no, it keeps it lively. It's just not a, it's it keeps it lively. Keeps me on my toes. I like it. All right. So again, um, ongoing uh, activities. Still coordinating with with Gary and his team. Um, weekly coordination. So we, we meet weekly. We update weekly. Actually, it's been more frequent than that because of all the activity. Um, so we're getting some progress and getting some things accomplished, which is great. Um, and then. As you know, the operational assessments and evaluation was just completed to include um, uh, uh, facts and figures to date, to which Gary elaborated um, to eloquently just yesterday. And some of those recommendations, such as the business district, um, coming out of those. So that's what the next steps. One other quick, um, uh, just FYI, as, as you mentioned, Commissioner Robinson was uh, most recently in the media. So the result uh, evaluation was out in the marketplace, and on if you I'm sure you've all seen it, um, front page of the Sentinel as well as uh, Douglas County Patch and various other uh, digital communications. So it's actually out there. So those wonderful updates, even though it's the, this uh, launch is new, we're sharing the good news. And there is week here uh, this weekend on several times on Channel Oh, yes. Yeah, it did. I, I yes, thank you. Y'all were on the times. news. And, and like, a good what? Very good project. Yeah, right. the buses, so that was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Channel 2 had several times. Oh, that was excellent. Okay. Is there anything I can qualify or answer? That was excellent. Very succinct. I have a question for, particularly um, as we were prepared for tomorrow's meeting uh, with the hotel clusters. I looked at uh, Danielle's idea of the table. Uh, Top tents or the little tents. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they could put those in each room for us. And you know, schedule. You know, usually when I check my hotel and go to the room, yeah, sure. you start one with pizza and you start looking at all the literature. Then they say, Oh, I didn't know they had a bus service. But yes. that person at the front desk the may not. The answer is yes. Yeah. 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 Sure. Get in the room. Yes. Okay. Um, and then also, uh, it's, it's, it sounds like we are maximizing all our opportunities, but what about? Maybe old school stationary billboard in one area somewhere. You could just see it, but not the digital, but the one that is say connect those. We, we've looked at that in the past, and the cost is really, really high. It's expensive. Yes, ma'am. That's that's why we haven't gone that route at this point. Now, one of the things we can do, and uh, yeah, we can do. You've seen the mobile pop-up uh, uh, things. That's all of that site. It'll be mobile to different site. It's not the billboard, oh. but we can uh, have some of those available. Okay. Just, just, just a pop-up uh, sign. Mm -hmm. 
And I think we can do that. And I, I think that that's something that's more affordable that we can that we can do. It's not your bill for it, but it's not. And if it's, if it's, far, you know, it's far more it's, it's far more affordable, and it's very common now in the, in the marketplace to pop up visibility. Uh, okay. six, like six six feet, roughly. Just about. I just know. When yeah, I'm about six here. feet. About yeah, six, six, six seven feet. feet yeah. Mm -hmm. And think about it now. Again, I'm, I've got mixed uh, billboards where back in the day yeah. we were all about looking at the forest and look at the horizon. Ooh, a billboard. We're all down like this now. Mm -hmm. It's been captured like everybody in the car is down here, and so it's more about my my my, my image, like looking me on the billboard, like I, you know, looking my smile, uh, and, and so how effective is that? So I, again, to your point, but there is something about it. I like your approach about the mobility; it pops up, it keeps moving, right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, so like campaign signs, move them around. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I like that nature. I don't know about billboard. I'm just responding to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it seems like we have an alternative. Yeah, alternative would be more affordable, and I think mm -hmm. it's uh, it's very common in, in the current marketplace. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's but, why I mentioned the kick off. So this may be a little. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know how you get when you want your billboard. Like, yeah. I don't know yeah. about that billboard. We're trying to leave no stone unturned. Right. We're right. we're constantly talking right. about marketing and what we can do to get the word out. Mm -hmm. and we'll bring that back in the next meeting. Okay. Thank you. So I right, my but my last point. This yes. is important. Um, I don't know where I was at. I was coming up, um, Fort Industrial swung on Thorn Road. I don't know, I was just riding through and I went over to my mom's and I lost it by Epson. My question is what conversation are we having with our colleague across the river, South Cobb, um, that connectivity as well? Right? Don't, don't neglect that touch point. I understand that that route was important. Uh, I, I don't know, I mean, you've got a ready made market right there at that epicenter. Go ahead and have the conversation um, with them like we did to set this community in motion. Just say you need to educate them, 20,000 members or whomever. How are you communicating with that touch point that says y'all need to let them know that they can come this way as much as we can go that way? How are y'all dealing with that? Because that was key to this. It's about regionalism. It's not one more time, but just about us moving around within the county. It was also that you were supposed to have continuity of service, right? All the way out to Atlanta, all the way back. I don't need to solve it now, but I, I want that to be part of this. Does. Yes, sir. That's the whole point. Regional. Okay. Do we have it on our plan? Okay. Gotcha. But ATO to come here, we're not in, in our marketing plans, not mm -hmm. acknowledge the need to do regional communication yes, and ongoing. We now, I actually attended the ACL meeting um, as well and speaking with some of the folks there, including Lori Sand, about um, just kind of pinching ideas about that level of connectivity you're talking about. Yep. So, what we will do is incorporate that with uh, South Cobb. Um, and train that's those transfers. So we'll incorporate that within um, one of the meetings. Okay. We also included Daniel included a, a copy of Dr. DJ's summary report. Uh, very succinct. Gary directed us to do like a summary, so I think this has been helpful. Yeah, and uh, Dr. DJ, along with uh, another, another Douglas County resident, has done a heck of a job with this process. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. Very good. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Miguel, and sure. anything else? Sure. No, sure. Sure. Thank you. That was great. Thanks, Gary. Thank you, John. Thank you. All right, next next item on the agenda is uh, an update on the transportation center building expansion. Okay. Work is underway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you cut a hole yet? We we <laughs> we got a hole down there. We do. Uh, the uh, the equipment is down there now, uh, tearing up one of our our small parking lots adjacent yep. to the to the building. Uh, we're moving that. The next thing to come down will be the canopy over what used to be the credit union. Uh, that should be done by the end of the week. And then they'll start grading and smoothing out uh, the plot of land next week in preparation for uh, putting down a slab. Mm -hmm. And then once the slab's down, work can really progress. Uh, we have scheduled a, a, a groundbreaking for this new facility. It's going to be Monday, November the 4th at 9 a.m., uh, just prior to the uh, work session, the mission work session that morning. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to have nice commemorative shovels for all the commissioners. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. Got it. Very good. The hers has to be wrapped in some uh, pinkers. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, no sure. <laughs> Y'all playing though. That's that's how you write a passage. Third year, no shot. That's how you write a passage, Miguel. 
We might have shown them. We'll, we'll spray paint it. <laughs> <laughs> my right of passage. Right. Right. Actually, our contractor is working on the mirror with your shovels that will have the date and the occasion on them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm joking, I'm not. We got it covered. Okay. We got these. Right, the next item uh, is a request for an uh, RFP for mm -hmm. equipment. Yep. Karen? Yes, sir. Uh, now that we're actually starting work on the addition to the transportation center, it's time for us to start thinking about the furniture and equipment uh, that will go into the facility and also uh, the driving simulator that will be part of this. Right. The simulator will be used to train our bus drivers, our van drivers, and, and certain other county personnel who drive county. county so this is beyond just connect nuggets. This is multi-purpose, multi Madam Chair, across all your your fleet assets, anybody who drives is being yes, no? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, <clears throat> the cost for the furniture, fixtures, and the simulators, uh, we, in this 2019 county budget, we still have $293,000 mm -hmm. remaining for those, those two RFPs. Um, we're about to the point where we're ready to issue those RFPs, and, and my question to the committee uh, today is these items are in the budget. Uh, do we go ahead and issue the RFP or do we need to go before the full board of commissioners to get permission uh, to issue the RFP? It's already in the budget. Is it in your budget or is it in the capital transportation fund? It's budget? in the budget. It's in the budget. So we've already got the budget, we've already approved it. Mm -hmm. I say go. Okay. Mark, mm -hmm. I'm kind of sure. um, um, to issue the RFPs. How much are the bids? What, was so that what do you expect them coming in at? <clears throat> the board will still have to approve. Well, the final. well, we we've got the, the estimates on the furniture at one hundred seventy thousand yeah, dollars. The board will still have to approve the final, final uh, the award. The award, the award right? right. But do we have concurrence to go ahead with the RFPs? All right. Yeah, I'm good with it. Okay. Miguel. I'm perfectly fine with it. Right. So in compliance with our new purchasing costs, I'm trying to think this out loud. We're this new internal controls. We're fine with issuing the RFP, right? That's just a lot to get people to solicit to send back something, right? Yes. You know, go through the normal process to bring the workings right now, correct? I say move forward. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. yeah. Concurrence. Do we have concurrence, everyone? Mm -hmm. No need to vote. Yes. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yes, sir. We have agreement to move yes. forward. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Gary. Uh, next item on the agenda is the uh, Lee Road Whitey Project. Wait, before you get to that big one, real quick. So, who is going to actually train the people, to use it? Who's going to be conducting the actual training? But this is not beyond just the bus drivers. That I means this asset will be used continuously, like just like any other, like a classroom. This is an asset. Who's going to be doing this? Our Office of Risk and Safety will oversee that. Um, as you might remember, they're actually going to, to move into our new addition and become one of our tenants. Uh, they're, they're connected at the hip with our program anyhow with, okay, with so safety. So it's like mm -hmm. a restructuring of blending of duties. So we, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Lee Road, goodbye. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, Lee Road, uh, we, we've talked about the last several meetings, yep. one of the issues that we need to uh, respond to GDOT on is who is going to let the project. Uh, obviously, we've been having discussions about when would the county be ready for uh, moving the project forward, but, but there is a, an outstanding question that we must respond to in, in the very near future as to are we, is the county going to take on that responsibility or are we going to try and um, have GDOT be the sponsor? Obviously, if they are the sponsor then they want all of the funding up front when, whenever they uh, let the project mm -hmm. move the project forward. So, um, so that is the, the discussion I have today. All right, so all up front means what? Their estimate for, based on the, on the last estimate, now, 
we're in the process of updating the plans and there will be an update of the estimate once everything is wrapped up. But uh, as of the last estimate, we were talking about 17 million, 17.5 million that <clears throat> GDA would be asking for a check on for them to engage as the sponsor. Right. So, as a sponsor, as a sponsor, which means they're putting up 10 million, correct? Yes. All right, so look at how they just slid, all right? So we went from, from basically um, 11 million to 17.5 million. Well, let, let, me, let, me, let me qualify. On, on some of those items, they are uh, contingency items that usually they have a 20% contingency on a project, so once they get the check from us, they will award the contract and administer the contract. But if there are any changes, if there is any add-ons, mm -hmm. if the bids come in higher, uh, then they want to be ready to award the contract without having to come back and go through that process. Uh, I, I understand. So that, that's one of the components. The other one is on the inspections. They, Initially, for, for most projects, they use about a 5% contingency for, ins uh, for inspections. Uh, they are asking on this project for 9%. So a lot of that difference between the 21 million and the 27 is these contingency items. understand. It's still cash. It is. Okay, so I, I got to say I'm, I'm well beyond, I'm okay with the elements of the project. It's all about money. All right, so, all right, so we're, we're talking about six and a half million on top of the beyond what we thought. Because mm -hmm. you're asking, you're telling me, I'm going to get the spread this out, I got to put it all up front, which means based on our current schedule of projects, which y'all just so nicely recast or <laughs> reforecast for me, we got to, you, you get where I'm at, it's tight. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it has impact. And so, um, duly noted, um, th this is, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a huge infrastructure. Um, Capital infrastructure need is, is necessary. There's no way around it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a capital transportation fund. I'm going to go back to um, why we are where we are right now. Right? We, we, we have the enlightenment. Our mind is ready, but we don't have the energy yet. Right? That's where the scene is coming in. It's like, okay, now how do we hold this off? Not impact this whole spot. Right? Now, it's, it, it yet. If we, we lose this, then now we're, we're delaying our our growth. We're about to see, so what? the decision we make could either continue our growth or stunt our growth, and it has a ripple effect. They're not isolated. This is one succinct view of our entire financial situation. So it's not just this. You can't take this without considering everything else. Like okay, back to why we needed that financial view, that recast. Like, okay, guys. And again, I appreciate staff, but you know, sometimes it comes in hot, and it comes in in a way that, like, okay, we got to do this straight, because and it's just a push. It's just like, okay, I'm, I'm still not going to take that up yet until I got a full view. Because we only got one time to do this. And there's no right or wrong, but you got to have peace about, like, okay, you may lose some projects, you may delay some projects, you may even fulfill some projects, right? But it's one of those, but at some point, a decision soon has to be made regarding our our capital. And, and, and this is this is needy stuff. Now some things again we're taking care of through the SPLOS, but with all these costs going up, it, everything downstream is getting impacted. Absolutely, that line market line is going up and up and up and up. Your, your yellow turn to red real fast. Right? So we're gonna and so that's when I'm like, okay gosh, that's huge. That's a six and a half million dollars cheap. That's big like it almost double on top of what we put. And so I'm like, oh. Um, well, let, let me offer so, this. So, but that's just the widening, right? That is that is the widening. The the other the other alternative is for the county to assume that responsibility, in which case we would be looking at the original estimate 20. of twenty one, and about I would estimate about another million for inspections, which is what DDA, one of the things that DDA would be. Looking across to do. That's it. So we would not have to be at 17.5 to move the project. We would really need to be at 12. Yeah. So not including um, 
in place. Right. If anything else comes up, and, and of course, I say 12, that, that's the entirety of the project. The project is going to take some time to bid out, it's going to take a couple of years to, to build out. So it is an expenditure over a period of two and a half years. Right. It's between 22 and 27 million dollars just to that strip. Just a wide two and a half miles from the road, that I-20 up to Barrow Road. Roughly, two and a half miles, which now we're going to take this all the way over, which is that's just that leg, that segment of where we got to go. And we get all the way over to Baltimore, ultimately over to Chapel Hill, and you got to go back to 78. You and I, this is me, you're talking to the on my board. What, so that to get over to, from Publix to Chapel Hill is what, 20 million? Not including buying land, just for straight infrastructure for the sake of the conversation. That's, that's a reasonable question. Twenty million. So you got twenty million out here. Go the other way toward Henry's district. Going from I twenty the bridge to cut through District One. The veterans, how much is that? We're, we're talking we're talking about all the way north of I twenty on the other side? No, j just, yeah, I guess it would be north, up to 78, but that was, that was, oh, so that's yeah, actually yeah. phase two. So yeah. 78 on the other side, uh -huh. that's about 15. Mm -hmm. So 15, 20, 35 plus your existing professor work, mm -hmm. 45, right, just, just, and, and it's important. That's just one area, I guess, I was going to say that's 40 mm -hmm. by itself. You got some other areas, uh, you know, again, I won't later, but I got to frame it for the record. I got, because we're going into budget, I got 40 million there alone. I still got Thornton Road bringing on two to three million square feet of projects, um, right, over the next year, year and a half. We've got an access road and this needs to be built. And that was a $20 million project, do I know you? Sherry, right? Mm -hmm. 20 million, all right, so that's 20 million right there to finish that, which the public already agreed through our public engagement process. That you guys did so well at uh, just setting the stage for us. So we already, we've already been blessed by that by the public, per se, that go ahead and do it. So that's it. So we don't have to go through the, the public, you know how much that's going to cost. So that's, that's, I mean, so we're 40, we're up to 60 million. We probably got some other key strategic areas without sort of getting into them, per se. So that's another 10, 10, and 10. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about maybe 80 to 100 million dollars of projects that are ready to go right now. <coughs> Is that accurate? Ready to uh, move forward upon uh, obviously a prioritized decision. Understood. Understood. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the order of magnitude, right? Correct. All things being equal. That's not mm -hmm. wishful. Me. That's the county administrator. I mean, that sound about right. We're not locking any projects. We're not committing to that. But we, does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. Eighty to one hundred million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these are infrastructure projects. And those are things that the board of commissioners has to achieve. What give right. guidance. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, the five of us are in the next couple of weeks going to be faced with uh, having chairs presenting their budget. Uh, and part of that is not beyond just the annual operating, but also, like I said, guys, the long term capital has to match the annual. They have to touch it. We have to spread this out. Now, how y'all going to do this? And, and it's, 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 it's just a math problem, but we're going to recognize some grapes at the bottom of the bag are going to be lost. It's like that. I mean, I got some grapes at home waiting right now. But I know I'm not going to get to all of them which means some are going to perish or divide. We don't want to hear that. Obviously, we don't want to say that, but we also have to be realistic about, like, okay, God, unless we're willing to go there. To the degree that we're willing to put in infrastructure, just like we had a conversation earlier, our housing committee, Madam Chair, we were talking about residential housing, and we were talking about the need to put, the, you know, we went, if we went for the thought, you know, those who came before us, who put the water and sewer and the roads and the fiber on Thornton Road, we wouldn't have to go. We wouldn't have switched. We, this administration, did nothing to inherit that position, mm -hmm. right? So likewise, any decision we make is something we may not be able to realize in our administration, but we're laying a foundation that when it's all said and done, I mean, obviously there'll be some up to your point, it's going to take time, but it's, this is a long-term play. Uh, and it, it's not a quick, you know, a lottery ticket, like, oh, we hit like that. So um, I, I don't want me to belabor this duly noted. Um, I don't know if we can answer that prior to, you know, we have a by our budget retreat. I mean, Mark, when is the retreat? Uh, I think it's the 11th and 12th of November. Okay. I, I don't see us having a, a big capital conversation outside the full board before that retreat. So is that going to be okay? 12th and 13th. So wait till that time period. Can you get some type of direction? Because I, I won't bring that question. Everybody got to be able to on this. They, they, are, they are hoping for an answer 
by the end of the month. Oh, this one. Now, here's here's um, and and again, it's not a question about the other uh, bigger picture of do we move and when do we move. <clears throat> the question that's at issue that's most critical now is are we going to take on the responsibility of letting the project versus having them do it? Here's my concern. Well, two concerns. One, I've uh, highlighted abundantly before, and that is we are at risk potentially by a delay of losing federal funds. That aside, the issue becomes if we are um, not ready to move the project forward, there is the likelihood that because they are the sponsor and they have the ability to reschedule, that they will just move it. They're, they've been, we've been holding them in abeyance by not giving them an answer yet, uh, but they've been asking for the last month, month and a half. So they're looking for a decision on that because um, the process at GDOT takes different routes depending on who the sponsor is. I, you know, we, we can appreciate it, but let me bring it this way, Mike. Wait a minute, you, if you're going to be the sponsor, you gave me 30 days to give you a decision to raise this thing six and a half million dollars. That's really up there. That, that's so like a strong arm. Like, you know, we can't respond like that. That, 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 that we've we'll, we'll been waiting through we'll this process. I mean, I hear you, but based on what you just shared, it's like, come on. We have 30 days and we got to give a response. We barely have cycles like that, right? We haven't even met as a board of commissioners to even be presented to even come back the next week. So to, 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 to suggest that we had 30 days that we need that that that, that implied threat by the state, it, it's just like that's. I mean, but I got it. I can I can I can process that. I, I know how tactics work at the table. But it's like, no, come on now. You, you can't go up six and a half million dollars and we never heard of this and we got 30 days. No, we got to the end of the month and make a decision. That's a lot now. So I'm going to take that to the side. We we don't have that. Let's go back to the original, which is County Administrator. Um, $21 million. It sounds like now we got another million dollars, perhaps. I'm not committing, Madam Chair, I'm not calling anything beyond what we got today. How we make up that million, I'm going to leave you guys to figure out how to do that. So the way you can get for me to the full board to move forward is how you going to solve that right there. In other words, you do it yourself. You, you, we handle it. You figure out how we're going to make up that million dollars. We don't have six and a half million dollars in order to board in a position to, to, to be throttled. I just, that would be unfair. I couldn't make a recommendation, I couldn't make a recommendation to, the, yeah. to our members like that. Mm -hmm. Not with that hand. So I said, you guys do it. We got these, we, we got people here that's supposed to be able to run this. We planned it already. Um, so, I mean, this million dollars for inspections, I mean, again, one more time. We, 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 all right, fine. We, we, we're supposed to have that solved. Um, I will say, we should be able to get through that. So, county administrator, what, how do you want to frame this? Uh, there should be an action, and I want to stick with the original that we've all talked about, that all board of commissioners have seen. I do not want to go back to the one of six and a half million dollar price tag. So, mm -hmm. how do you want to frame the action item that we all have so far? <laughs> I don't know. Based on those comments, I, unless we have staff available to do this, which I talked to Miguel, and we do not. Um, we don't have a million dollars. But it's staff to do the inspection or staff to run the, the separate project? What do you say? Both. Both. Project right. administration, construction inspection. And that is in light of testing. all the other projects that the in house staff has already done. Yeah. yeah. We don't know any project manager out there that demands a two and a half mile expansion. We, 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 we can't demand it. But Where's more? I mean, figure this out, guys. I mean, I, I say come back with a. See, this is my point. I can't go to the four board because you don't even have me a, a path forward on it. Tell me a solution. Okay, do we need to go with maybe the Moreland contract? Do we need to put, like, give a sub project? I don't. I mean, find somebody to manage this. Yeah, somebody, we can find somebody to manage it, but okay. pay them for it. We would have to allocate the funds. Right now, the funds are not allocated. Um, mm -hmm. In my opinion, the only viable source right now is the boss. Right. The, the funds to, to, for the additional administration. Yes. Mm -hmm. For additional administration, construction, inspection, and testing. I mean, you got a I mean, the current program administration ends in year five. They don't go all year six. 
I don't know, just like y'all like to play stuff for I mean, if you got a whole year where project administration is on the table, I mean, you got me, you got me. You got me. In other words, I'm, I'm with y'all. It's, uh, indeed, and that, that was the point I was making earlier, that, that the expenditure is programmed over time. Mm -hmm. It's not all time. Mm -hmm. If we manage it. You can't go to six and a half million. You just compromise it. It just consumes so much. <coughs> it just becomes so big. The appetite is like, okay, I, to, I can't feed this anymore. <laughs> this, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to yield. That's a lot. And I, I can just hear the, the, the voices. Just, it, it, went from 10, it went from 4 million. I mean, this thing doubled. It, we added 10, you know, 11 million. We had to move two things. We took money from Thornton. Took money from animation, which we really didn't need, mm -hmm. to meet this need. Now you're almost, what, 6% on top of that? That's, you get what I'm saying? That's a lot. Sure. And it, 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 it disrupts the optics as well as, um, it was, it, 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 it's imbalanced. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it can, and, it, and I think, like, no, that's enough. That, that, that it can't take everything. I understand if it wrapped all the way down Thorne eventually in, in some kind of way, that's enough. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's enough, so we have to figure out a better way. Yeah. So, can you not come up with something a sharper pencil mark? I mean, what are you talking about? Yeah. Um, <coughs> I didn't see this coming either. Right. But I that's like, my point. You. I like that idea of this floss, you know, it's an opportunity because again, you're trying to get outside the box. And it sounds like that may be a viable mm -hmm. solution. You just have to come up with a plan and present it to this, this committee and then see if we can move. So, 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 based on your time, this is on mm -hmm. y'all. I come up with a solution by the end of the month mm -hmm. that we can look at. Mm -hmm. That at least so you can let them know that it's going before the board of commissioners in the first meeting of November. That's mm -hmm. all you got. There's mm -hmm. no, and I can call a special call meeting because you we just found out this. And we can't buy ourselves two weeks just to decide that can you do it that way? Mm -hmm. Straight to the board? Yeah. Well, once we've had a chance to see what, 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 the, what the answer is, okay. so it's got to come to the chair. Can you send it to me, please? So we'll send it to the entire community. Are we looking at um, start date? Because our hot sauce is your start date. Is it April or are we trying to push it down the right. to push it down to um, November? Yeah, I think we, we're, we're committed if we take it on as a sponsor to taking it to bid in June. Mm -hmm. That allows several months of the review time. Mm -hmm. right. And award the contract towards the end of the year. Okay. And then nice. construction really will start very late in the year with yeah. utilities or perhaps some <coughs> one. Okay. okay. David Good, what was the reforecast that was presented to us? I mean, Miguel, you probably were involved in this, but I just need the official answer. Somebody tell us officially what was um, there was a recast and a report uh, re forecasting um, of our SPLOS projects. And when did we have on the list? when this is supposed to start with the month. Or the, I believe it was, I believe we had it in June. So is that what it's going to be? June? That's what we've been looking at, but I, I don't know relative to the forecast for the they started. Yeah, either March, it was either, it was either April or June, but either way, that first, that would only be to, for the bid documents for the bidding process, mm -hmm. then you've got a gap. So we were saying there would be a gap, and so right. the construction wouldn't start until the fall of the year, probably November. So, mm -hmm. right. so your real cash flow going out the door, whether whether that initial payment was, you know, April or June, it doesn't affect cash flow mm -hmm. because the, the real money's going out when the project starts. Right? Mm -hmm. So as part of your submission to the committee at the end this this, this month, <coughs> um, we want a confirmed and an aligned project schedule. One to be what I think is this, or y'all gotta be in line. The yeah, project still have it in front of me, but I, I there is an answer that's I know, but you're clear on the spreadsheet. Y'all are asking us in this meeting, I want it on record, I don't want it to move. In other words, we want an exact date in which y'all plan to do this with this project. And I know it's moved from April to some other date. What's that exact date that you think this is gonna go, and what is the exact cash flow beneath that? To align, so the delays. I mean, you have the, you guys now have the documents. Tell us in the email what this is going to be, so that I can say, okay, let's talk right. And then now she goes to the board. That's all we're asking for. And did you also want to be included in that part? The 
schedule the reimbursement because uh, we have to do have the full amount and then the state reimburses us. Did you want that? Just give us a one-year look. Just give us the one-year look. Mm -hmm. the one -year look. Mm -hmm. That's all we want. One year look. Just you get that one year look. That good enough, Miguel? Yes, yeah, sure. So that is an administrative concurrence. We're not voting. We're, 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 we're acknowledging that you're going to go straight to the full board commissioners uh, with a condition of coming up, submitting it in writing to the, the committee, which you're recommending. Mm -hmm. Agree? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Madam Chair. Yes. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> next item on the agenda is a uh, possible agreement with the city related to the signal uh, traffic signal monitoring for the holidays. Mm -hmm. In the past, we've we fronted the funds and been reimbursed for their portion. We they have seven signals and we have twelve or something like that. Yep. And we have um, an estimate this year. Uh, the county's portion would be about fifteen. $15,550.55, if I'm nearly certain, mm -hmm. well, uh, and so the question would be, the city is open to doing it the same way we did it last year, that we require an MOU, mm -hmm. yeah. or actually paying directly to the same contractor uh, independent of us. So we yeah. would contract with the same contractor and we would pay um, if there's any preference, um, open for a discussion. I'm in the mindset of the if it's not well, no need to fix it. Just want to make sure we have that covered on the holidays because we really have that bottleneck on Chapel Hill and mm -hmm. what is that Douglas Boulevard is really terrible. So if it, it has it worked pretty seamlessly in the past or have there been a yes, problem? Yes. Well, it, it, it works in, in terms of, of the project. Mm -hmm. One thing that, that puts us at a bit of a disadvantage is that we're fronting the money um, in one year, one fiscal year, mm -hmm. in, in its entirety. And then we get a partial reimbursement the following year. So it's not... Is it it's taking down now? Yes, it's not. Okay. And it's our city. Okay. Yeah, but, but let's just do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll yeah, that's a small amount. But you think that's no, small no, 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 Yeah. No. Okay, so no, then... Party. Yeah, if that being the consensus, um, I'll need a recommendation to take it to a full board for an MOU with the city. Uh, we, we heard um, the, the topic. Uh, is there any further discussion on this MRO, MOU to be submitted to the full board of commissioners for the Christmas lights? Let's say Hol holiday, holiday traffic lights. signal. Uh, lights. Uh, holiday <laughs> light <laughs> signalization project. Mm -hmm. uh, can I get a motion? So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? All in favor of sending this forward to the full board of commissioners say aye. 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 Any opposed? Yeah, would you ask? Okay. Um, At the turn. Next item Great. is. Great. Real, real quick. Just connect that list. Mm. Holiday buses. I got 20 people sitting here in the bus with me. Mm -hmm. It ain't 20 people we got. <laughs> but we're sitting here, and I don't have an express lane on an express route. Who going to make way for, for this bus to get going? Like when I'm at Word of Faith, I'm just using that for example, I'm at church, and I notice that like we, you know, we're pulling out, everybody's get, run, going to the car early to get in there. And then but when that 15 passenger, them buses start moving, the, the deputies step on there and they stop everybody. Let the bus, like, why are y'all letting them? And they say, well, we got more people in there and stuff. So they let the people come on and they, they drive. And it's like nine buses. They all pile up behind each other and they go down their way. I don't know if this is possible around the mall or with those highly congested areas. And I'm, ha, ha, I mean, can you get to share? Well, it's like school. It's like school. Like at school. You see them SROs, full authorities that know the buses got to go no stop. They go buses. So this is not impressive. You have it at churches, you have it at schools, where you acknowledge the fact that when you have higher density, they get a party of movement. Um, you think, you guys, this is capable of being done here with our buses around the holiday room and malls, keep that thing moving, get the people through? As much as I would love to see that happen, here, here's the difference between those two uh, scenarios. One is much more condensed. If you have a church or some other activity, 
it's a very time limited uh, program. For buses, we run them from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so to have somebody out there essentially waiting perhaps 45 minutes for the next bus to come along, it's just not very efficient. I'm just thinking now, to, now, to your point, Thank you to have. Now this right. is this is not ready for prime time just yet. But, but there are systems that integrate with the traffic signals to allow them to preempt the signal as the buses get close. Like the fire. We are looking into from our side the signals having that capability, mm -hmm. and uh, we can certainly look at the buses having the equipment. Facilitate that. Let's, let's make a note of that. That's just still something that should be considered. I get your point. Like most things were technological. I like that. It was just a, it was not even throw us off because I know we move to the next item. I wanted the previous question only just I didn't want that to be like these buses and that traffic. This is going to be a nice experience. So it is going to be an issue. Okay, great. Right. But keeping people on task and trying to Keep get it on work or get whatever. Mm -hmm. So it, it, you get my point. So I'm glad you defended me. That it didn't get killed. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. <laughs> but, but, but you get my point. Any thoughts? Please weigh in. Well, we're internally we're discussing it. We haven't come up with any solutions yet. But uh, all of us have been in mild traffic uh, around Douglas Boulevard, Sheffield Road during the holidays. It's right. it's stop and go. Right. Uh, it's just stop. Yeah, stop. So we're we're continuing to talk about it. We don't have any answers yet. Maybe there's some dialogue you can uh, we'll work directly with the sheriff's department to see if they can make some special exceptions if they see the bus and bring it out and just around. Yeah. And also, uh, Gary, just since we're on the subject, any uh, ideas or thoughts about giving the buses a festive look? I'm not saying change the outside, maybe put a wreath on the front of the bus or something real cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, something yeah. nice, festive. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, cute festive. we'll do something like that. Help. Yeah. Have Santa caps for the driver and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's in my lane. All right, <laughs> Miguel, come on, bring us home. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, we we had discussed. Um, obviously, we we did the first round of uh, requests for qualifications and went through that process. Mm -hmm. We awarded five task orders. Yeah, we're in the process of awarding. Yeah, the contracts on those. And um, we, after discussion of both the purchasing committee and transport and this committee, uh, we went back out for a second round. Yeah. We have received the responses. There's about 18, if memory serves me. Okay. And um, there, have, there was a standing request for having an outside consultant take a look and, okay. and review the applications. We initially went out. We had a lead uh, that. Uh, uh, was uh, willing to do it, and um, we had discussion at this committee. Uh, that didn't work out. Eventually, that that uh, individual and company begged off the project. Since that time, uh, I uh, was able to get uh, another consulting firm. Uh, one of those that uh, when we go to the Atlanta Regional Commission are in the audience uh, there. Yeah and they hit you up on the way out yep. during the break. And so um, there, there is a proposal, we do have a proposal from this firm um, to do just that. One of the things that they recommended, and, and I, I'm sorry, I have already given you one. Okay. But anyway, so what, what we typically would do in-house is we would have multiple people review mm -hmm. uh, and then compare the, the ratings, and that is precisely what they're recommending. Uh, if they were to have three evaluators, which is what typically you, you would want to have, uh, they're estimating that the review and recommendations uh, would, uh, their fee would be $38,880 to conduct a review, a uh, two-phase review and make recommendations. So that is with a three-person panel. Of course, 
we thought somewhere between five and ten dollars initially, right? Before yeah, that and that would have been with a single person. Now, because we were initially looking at, at one individual doing, of course, that individual was perhaps a lot more experienced, uh, but nonetheless well qualified. Uh, I asked them to also submit an option for review by their best qualified individual. Right. And that is included as, as the second uh, option here at $13,700. Mm -hmm. well, what's the name of the firm for the record? Uh, GMC, uh, their name is Goodwin, Mills, and Cable. Mm -hmm. Very- Based out of Atlanta? Based out of Atlanta, a rather large firm, uh, very well known here. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, they are not one who has bid on any of our projects. Right. So we're going to find someone. All right. So GMC, they're bidding. You got two options on the table: thirteen thousand, thirty-eight thousand. How would we find this? Remind me. That is a question for discussion. Um, it probably would be. All right, we're down to 91,000 our capital transportation fund. Mark, are we not right? Or from yes, we're close to it. That's correct. We got to move on this, Madam Chair. We can't get behind in these six other categories for the Gale, right? So we'll take it out of the question. Now the question is which option? Yeah, the, the uh, three person option is the most defensive uh, because that's typically what. what we want to get down and get out. I'm sure he's asking what, what about um, SPLOS versus... But the capital transportation fund is, is for... Um, you, could, you could do either one. See, eventually when, when you qualify the, the firms, they could be used for SPLOS or for regular projects. So uh, you could see, you could argue either. Okay, it's, Capital transportation fund is already funded. Right? Mark, we have about 91000 left. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where else you can peel from in this floss. Economic development, we need to peel about that for I mean, quite some time. Um, <laughs> and there's an item coming up. Okay, so, all right, so, all right, so I'm, I, must, I must leave, get out of pass right now. I'm, I'm, I'm open to comments, but I like to. Um, take the recommendation. I'd rather have a full committee and be done. Get in and get out versus one person having the burden. That's the way they feel. I, I would agree. I, when we do it in-house, we have multiple people. Right. 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 Team of three. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Can I get a recommendation? Um, a multiple recommendation for the three, three person option at not to exceed 39,000? Is it Now, the three person option is Thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Right, I should see thirty-eight thousand and eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. So moved. And pay out the CTF. CTF, correct. So moved. So. Any discussion? I just have a question. Yes, please. Yes, yes, discussion, Madam Chair. Okay, so we're going to pull out the CTF. So I'm thinking I've got to leave us at a balance of what, Mark? The balance. Fifty thousand. Fifty-two. Yeah, I guess. Fifty-one somewhere in there. Yeah. So I'm going to see the bottom of the barrel so can you, after this project just kind of go a line and kind of leave the lump on it so it can be a little captive by that. Yes. Okay. That's right. So you, we'll, you can keep going. Yeah, yeah. 30 days will be in the budget process. Yeah. And then again, yeah. We need to some more money. Well, that's the whole point. We have to replenish this. I, yeah. I don't we'll disagree. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Mm -hmm. I know we go. Go. We got a motion to second. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got to go. Okay. Uh, we've gotten a request. Uh, next item on the agenda, a request for, well, let, let, me, let me give you some context here. Uh, when we went through the process of awarding or awarding the on-call contracts with the intent of having five projects move forward, there were other projects that were in the queue, some of which were on the SPLOS list, perhaps not as high as some of the others. And uh, so there are a couple of projects, and there's at least one project that was not on the SPLOS list, 
that it is it's an economic development project. And so we have a standing request based on uh, citizen input and uh, outreach to some of the commission members uh, for including State Route 92 and Anawaki, that intersection, for a study along with some of the other intersections that we're studying, uh, just so that we know or get a feel for what the fix is. We do not have to move the process beyond that initially, but at least get a sense of while they're out there uh, doing traffic counts and analysis that they could potentially take a look at this issue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Why? Why that intersection? We just took six million. It's, it's like you put a light down the street, put a light the other way. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that I, I just would preserve. The, we pushed it down in priority, so why are we trying to pull it back up to even? It's, it's not a priority right now. It, understood, but but it has been one where we get complaints on on a regular basis. In fact, there, there is a. Uh, someone that works at the ARC that lives in that area and reminds me uh, pretty regularly of the issue. Uh, the reason is, one, one of the reasons, one of the advantages of potentially linking this project is that if we are having a consultant go out there and deploy traffic counters to gather data to do an analysis of the intersection, they're going to have to obtain some data related to how this intersection operates. Not enough to be able to give us recommendations or formulate a fix, but they're going to need to know what the timing is through this intersection, what the flow, what the movements are for the other intersection. And so there is a synergy there that you can have both intersections uh, at 92 mm -hmm. analyzed at the same time. You can then select the fix going forward and what project you move and what priority, but at least you'll have a sense for what the potential fix is. It just seems like, are we just doing the same? We got a light there, and we had this ITS with Randy Holy. You know, we got this ITS command center, we'll be able to synchronize all the lights throughout the whole county. I, I got to remind everybody of prior narratives. That we're supposed to have these solutions. They're supposed to be synchronized. We look all the way down the whole green burn. It's this storyline that was sold. Right? So Anawiki, again, why did they cut Riverside straight into Anawiki? The state did. They cut it dead in it where it is. So we got that, and I'm like, is this such a priority? I get the complaint. Synchronize the lights. But I, I'm just, I mean, are we just getting... So what are you asking us to do? Is there a, you said do a study, do a traffic count. I, I, I just, it just seems like a spin is not a priority. I get it. It's not a priority in the scheme. I mean, everything's important to us. It's all important, but guys, we have finite dollars. Like, okay, Madam Chair just said, like, okay. Like, we just knocked and wake you off. We made a conscious decision to say, in the scheme of everything else that we got on that are just as important and just as urgent, shift this money from here to there. <coughs> Let this drop. Now you're trying to draw money back into this. I get the synergy, but God's like, so now you're going to move money? It's like, you can't do it all. Uh, understood. Understood. And, that, and that's why we're having the discussion. Uh, the reason I keep bringing it up is because I think there is a synergy between those two studies and we, you know, to the extent we have to defer some things, I fully appreciate that. What we, what I'm asking is to consider not funding the project, but funding the analysis, which I said, how much is the analysis? I got what you're asking, I did get that. How much? Well, once, I would have to put out a task order and get it back, but it would be less than 100,000. So what are the implications of the, that they're requiring the, of the citizens of planning to turn in lane? I know exactly what you're talking about. They, they can't make that turn. That's, I knew that's exactly um, what you're implying. 
turning that one. They can't make the turn on 292. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That right here. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. I know. I figured that. Out. I, I just want to make sure I touch on what glasses on. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. wait. It's not right now. No action. I get it. It's just you, you can't do it all. That's another hundred thousand dollars that we can use something that more important. This is a nice to have. It's not required if we're not going to take any action. Put the hundred grand behind something that you know you're going to take action on. Don't put a hundred grand on something that we can use later. I'm just saying, if I'm going to order priorities, my, my vote is no. Don't put that money behind something you know you're not going to do right now. You're not going to take any action to fix Anawaki. It will give you some insight. I get it, but you got limited dollars. You got some urgent projects that can use some consultants, some marketing analysis. You've got other things up and awake that you need to fund. That intersection, that those projects, you need to get some intelligence as well on that. Um, I'm just saying. And I, I mentioned the hundred thousand. I mean, you said the hundred thousand dollars. I just told you what the problem was. You need plenty of that. I know. I'm, I experience at the uh, intersection quite often. So we need to bring somebody a hundred thousand dollars just to tell us what we already know. That well, we need for this reason, because when when we have data, mm -hmm. and it is a G dot intersection, mm -hmm. we can leverage that information. And so they could. So that it. so they could address, address it. or at least partner with us on the fix. But but. We, you know, we know the problem exists, but until they see the hard data, we're not going to move. We understand. We, we, we leverage as much as we can from, obviously, Mount Vernon Road and, obviously, uh, Riverside. Mm -hmm. uh, I get it. You got the other dollars in the I understand. And, and it's like, Mark, please. What say it be? Um, yeah, I think we have limited dollars. We need to wait. Put a pin in that. Just put a pin. Right. Fair enough. Thank you. All right. Next, next item on the agenda it are, um, is an update on ongoing projects. One of which is the factory Shoals Road improvements. Yep. And that one, uh, we are going through the process of uh, finalizing the acquisition of that corner property. Yep that would allow us to develop a design for the improvements. Mm -hmm. um, but we need to, to have a consultant, uh, to task a consultant to begin the process of um, developing the concept of the design. All right, so this is factory shelves. So who's along factory shelves? Uh, you, you have uh, well, the old core five, you have DCT, you have uh, Rockefeller. Okay, all right, I get the group. Is that where Stitch Fix is going to? Or is it Stitch Fix? Yeah, Stitch Fix. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're the uh, DC2. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The first one. Okay. Stitch Fix. Okay, all right, so how much? What's the ask? But it's all This one, I'm guessing, I hope they're not listening because I, I don't want to. Okay. Some, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I, I hate to project what the fee is going to be because uh, they do listen to this. Well, then, well some kind of way, you, but you gotta, what are you asking me to, I mean, it's not written here. Maybe it is. Well, what, uh, what, um, what I'm asking for is a, the consideration to move the process forward for me to reach out to a consultant to put them under contract. So, we so don't where would you pull this contractor from, from our list of projects? Uh, these are not engineers, these are consultants. Who well, is this? This would be from the first round of consultants. Okay. But we awarded those original, con those original contracts, right. and we start all over. So there is nobody that you can pull from that has not been evaluated to be on top of the list. So that's what so um, Well, we, we could wait until the evaluation is completed for the second round. Yeah. Just let the process work. Let's not undermine all the work we might do in that first hearing committee for this. So mm -hmm. let's, let's give, it, give it room and time to breathe on that. So, um, but you still haven't told me. I need a number. And then ultimately yeah. though, so we don't, what it's saying is we don't need to put a number out there that we think because these people, these guys are listening. Right. So they don't want to see in our minds on what number we have. 
when he reaches out, he will come back with a number that has to be approved by the board Correct. before we move forward. So we will know the number. We'll know the exact number. But we don't have a list. So let's think about process. So we're live on, on this, this show. It says normally you go out to an RFQ and you ask people, you're open and you're honest about people being able to solicit. What you're saying is that we're going to pull from some list that doesn't exist because we as a group said, throw that list away beyond this first five group of awardees and start all over reevaluating this, 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 this bench of list that you know, you're allowed to go pick from going forward. I want to make sure that just, I don't, I don't want to circumvent that. So let's just yeah. pause on this right We'll now. have to wait till the second list gets evaluated. Correct. Then get the problem. All right. We've got to go fast. I get it. How long do you think they're going to take once you, we, we go with this group? And we get on the, how fast? A couple weeks? Well, a month at uh, most? No, they're, they're get, they, they are looking at a schedule of six weeks. <coughs> it is what it is. Okay. But no action on this one for right now. But yeah. But it's just, um, but that was the whole point, which is like we want to get this moving. So we are somewhat delayed. We know that this is going to drag, you know, slow some of these projects down. But we want to get this right. We do not want to circle it through the process. Okay. All right. Keep going. All right. Now, next update is on the Chapel Hill DDI. Yep. I've, I've gotten, uh, of course, there that project. Uh, even though it is tagged as a diverging diamond interchange, mm -hmm. it is a scoping phase, meaning that we're looking for the best solution for the problem. Mm -hmm. And so there's been some analysis done. I, I've gotten a request from the city to present to the council uh, or update uh, the council on the status. Uh, they've asked me, uh, they've given me the date of uh, November. Well, uh, is that going to be a cost to us? No, Did no, uh, no. It's just for me to attend a council meeting and give them an update. Okay. There is no no cost unless I come back through. Right. But, but our involvement in this challenge with DBI has nothing to do with us. This is all city, right? No, it, no. We're we're managing that, that project. So it is for for a number of reasons. Well, no. How much is this, and when is it? Oh, the, the, DDI, list. the DDI is a has federal funds to it, yep. mm -hmm. and it's about three hundred fifty thousand, if I remember correctly, uh -huh. eighty percent federally funded. So we'll put a three fifty. Yes. No, no. three fifty is the total. Yeah. The DDI, but that's already been funded. Uh -huh. This all I'm all I'm um, giving you is an update that we are at the point where the city is asking for an update and before I do an update for the city, I like to do an update for the county so that you know mm -hmm. uh, where things are. And this is just for the preliminary engineering? Just the preliminary that's engineering. That's the only thing that's been approved so far. Correct. And it's just to, to go over the options for the solution. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, DDI was the original tag. DDI may not be the ultimate solution. Right. There be other alternatives. And so what I like is, uh, to, the reason I'm bringing it to you is because uh, the city has been asking for an update and I've been going through the process waiting for the opportune time to be able to roll this out to the public because in reality it's been in committee uh, so far. Um, but I would want to give the county a, a, a briefing on it before I go to the city. When did I ask you to come forward? Uh, I think it's uh, November 14th. All right, so then you put on our first meeting, Mark, and then go November. straight to the mm -hmm. next week to them. Okay, so presentation at the next board commission. Board okay. yeah. yeah, you talked yes, about that's the administrative the best solution, so you got something else. That's administrative concurrence. But you said we already have the funds, correct? Yeah. Make this better. Yeah. 80 20? Yeah. Okay. That's only for the preliminary yes, sorry, phase. Oh. Actually, actually it's, it's for the scoping phase. Yeah. Not yeah. even the preliminary. It, it, it's, it, you, you didn't answer my real question because <laughs> I kept asking you how much. Because I want to know, like, we're responsible for it, but you just said, well, it's just 350 Like, how much is it this project? Yeah, 350 for the scoping phase. For the scope. How much for the project? To deliver a DDI, how much is that bridge going to cost? We're not there yet because 
we are in the analysis phase coming up with the potential fix. Right. The committee has to then decide between the city, the county, and the stakeholder mm -hmm. what the fix is going to be. Then I can answer that question mm -hmm. because then they can cost out. It could be that that they, instead of a DDI, the consensus is it's a different fix. All right, so here's, here's my thing. When we first started this out a few years ago, pre, pre it's okay. We had an understanding that the state had came up with a number, just like we were cost me $43 million. There's it, it, it an order of magnitude like, guys, no, we can't be obligated down a path while you're giving me partial information, not in person. What, you know, decision makers are given partial information. It's like you're leading us like, okay, we'll just decide on this. Okay, well, we've already committed to this, and you're leading us to a point like, no, I need to know the, the number. I need to know an order of magnitude recognizing it can be plus or minus 20%. But what, I, what I, I'm trying to say is like, well, what are you saying in light of all these, uh, it's like Lee Roll coming up, and it popped from nowhere, and it's 21 million. I'm like, all right, now you're gonna pop another bridge on me, and it's like, okay, well, how much is that? 40 million. And, and, and again, it's real subtle how this is being led up, like, okay, guys, come on now. You, you're putting us in a place where, okay, it's just gonna be no, 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 because again, you can't spend what you don't got. You, you can't float, you know, checks that will bounce this fight. No, but we wanna be able to order and prioritize it based on, you gotta give us knowledge. And so, well, we don't have to solve it today. I think that's important in these committees when you're asking for large capital. You're not asking me for T-shirts. You know, let's see if you can fit, like, okay, I'll buy, I, I don't know, whatever I got in my pocket when I go home, I'll see if I can buy you a sub. You're asking for real capital commitment. All right, so what, in, in light of, is that a parade in light of something else that may be down on, Cap, on Chapel Hill? Right, it's all capital. Somebody put, not on it, it's like, okay, so what are you saying? That's all I'm saying is that we're, we're up to probably $140 million, not including, you know, resurfacing. It's like, come on, guys. And we just we can't do it this way. So, I did, Commissioner, can, yeah. can I offer some perspective here, please? Uh, projects, what you described as uh, going down a particular path, there is a process for how you develop, particularly when you're using federal funds, how you develop a project and get it from the concept stage to, to construction. There are projects that are so um, either complex, or the solution is not as obvious that instead of going into preliminary engineering like you normally would, with a known scope for construction, or at least an estimate, you begin with a, either a feasibility study or a scoping study. Mm -hmm. That is what this project is, because it was recognized that even though some, at some point it was envisioned that perhaps a diverging diamond might be the fix. They recognize that maybe it isn't. And so we're not at the point where we would know what the budget is for the project. Mm -hmm. so and that is inherent in this process. I, I appreciate that. They were doing this 10 years. I hear words like preliminary designs. I've, I've watched how words have been used to move the board. I hear you, so we're moving from the technical, what project manager has got, I got to be thank you. Now, all I'm saying is, I hear you, but the minute you now start getting in front of a city council and a board of commissioners, and you start messaging, oh, we got to get this, whatever solution is, now you've created, you don't have to deal with it, I do. You've created an, an atmosphere and an understanding situation, now we got to manage, because you're now focused on it. You've now done two dog and ponies. And so now we've got to like, okay, is that your priority district? I mean, I, you know, just, you've got to be excited about this, this, this intersection here. And this, okay, y'all gonna have to, and I'm like, this, and all I'm, I'm managing is like, I hear you, and you, you, make, you just ask, and you just keep asking, you just, and I'm not, I keep saying, no, no, maybe, I don't know. But we, well, and I appreciate the push, and there are also the pushback. They says, no, I get it, I just wanna make sure I'm not obligated. I need to be able to say the shit to my peers, like, you know, okay, look at the order of magnitude. You can't say you don't know. I get solutions, I understand the process. Well, I know if it ain't gonna be as big as a diamond interchange, it could be something smaller than, then what was that number that we talked about before? It is to get our minds around it, but what you can do is go to something like, I don't know. You, you just give me something so that we, as we begin to prioritize this thing that says, okay, 
That's four hundred million. We, we we just ain't gonna get there today. But that's all I'm saying is sort of this. You're, you're it's, it's a finesse, and it's like, come on, we need better intelligence. That's all. I mean, it's like with anything, you're asking us to make decisions. Um, <coughs> Um, and again, we keep obligating ourselves down this nickel and dime, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit. I'm like, okay, you about to run out. Like, this checking account getting short. We're nickel and dime all these things, and, and it's got a big appetite. I get it. But it's like, at some point, it's like, okay, guys, you, you're consuming everything. You're taking everything out of capital transportation supply, you're taking everything out of response to any excess that we have. Like, at some point, it's going to crash on its own. Like, okay, why are we having this conversation? And that's my point, that there's as much intelligence as I get that we can help me set priorities based on the, 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 the five cent, the nickel that we do have, at least we can sort of like with a good consciousness say, well, go here, based on what we got, that's all we got to work with. This is the right choice. But when you come with the partial information, it's just like, okay, God, this is, because it's getting real. And what you're hearing, I'll be like, Madam Chair, okay. It, 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 and again, and we're trying to give room. We're trying to buy time. One more time. D Accelerate, not break. But it's like, okay, guys, I, I'm just, I, I'm, we're, we're going empty. And so that's what I'm saying. If you give us enough information about all this and let us prioritize, then we can give guidance, not in order that, that, that this, this, you know, agenda comes forward, because it may not be in the best wishes or the best interest of the full board. That's what I'm like, no, that's why a lot of times you see me pause. Like, mm, I don't know. I make sure we're not going to obligate ourselves down the path. I want them to be in on this thing. I just have one question, uh, Miguel, after the $350,000, I call it scoping phase or a feasibility study. We'll, I mean, the federal government will assist, will assist with at least 8%. What about if whatever option or solution come forth, will the federal government be with us on that as well, 8%? Is that, can you explain that? We, yeah, certainly, um, when we have, when we have the, the study or the results from the scoping study, we will then be able to be in position to program the next phase, which is the preliminary engineering. You still have to submit that an application to the federal government. That is correct. Okay, I, I get it. Okay. So right. how, would, how far along are we in the scoping study? We're probably about 60% of it. And we've spent funding has been spent. This has been an ongoing project. Oh, sure. For a long time. Yes. Is this not a new 350? No, no. It's not partial. So this is the remaining part. So mm -hmm. it's not an ask for money. No. You're asking for just to go and do? Mm -hmm. The finish up the one. Which we have said you could go do. Right, we'll go do your update. So what, what remind me. All I, all I was suggesting is that because the city has been requesting that I do the update to them, mm -hmm. I felt an obligation to do an update to yeah. the county first. Which we were fine with. Right, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. and so we, get, we gave administrative, like, we'll go do that, but then we got into this whole cost thing, and I know it's funny, it's like, well, are you, were you asking us to no, do no, it? I, I'm not asking for any money, not on this one. Mm -mm. All right, keep going, that's why, right. keep going. Oh, my question was how much was the overall cost, and you gave that's how we got there. That's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. I said, This is how much I know right now. Right. Beyond that, we don't. And then right. you'll submit an application, grant application to Correct. the federal government. Okay, right. sounds so, good. Unless if some, somebody advocates for this to be up to this above the line, I'm, you finish what this is, and that's it. I mean, I, you don't have anything else. That's no, the application for federal government. Oh, but again, you apply for that grant. Let's say you get it. Where's your twenty percent against that aid? Well, we we are not at this point applying. My expectation is that it'd be a couple of years before yeah, we would apply. Okay. Yeah, a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. In other words, no more action after this. Right. That's no. Until sometime in the future. Right. Yeah. All I'm all I'm bringing you is the results or the, right. yeah, the results of the analysis, at least to the point that we have progressed. Anything else on this list that we really need to get at? Not, not, the only other thing is an announcement that Chattahoochee Trail Project, we're doing an open house November 12th. Okay. Yeah. 
November 12th. It's going to be at uh, Boundary Water from 5 to 7 p.m. And again, there's no formal presentations, just the plans, uh, the conceptual plan alignment is going to be there uh, for viewing. And if you have questions, you can ask questions. The public is invited. What is it? No, we we'll get on the list. Make sure that's on the list. All right, real quick. So number 12. Some kind of way, I know there's an economic development effort, perhaps in tourism down at the state park wants to get involved on um, a three mile trek off Riverside. How are we synchronizing? I know there's some interest in that. And I think the last time you and I talked, I know this is up on the table. How much the cost was this to finish that um, from Boundary Woods to Super State Park? We, uh, we have a, an ask of about 200. Mm -hmm. 50,000, I think it's yep. the additional 250,000 to complete that. Uh, That's it. That's it. All right, so one more time. We have this big budget. So the question to, to my peers would be, do you want us to go steady over here or steady over there? <laughs> and what's, what is our priority as a collective group? Because again, this is, um, yeah. I mean, all right, you only got 22,000. I don't I mean, even the consultants you pick, pick one. You only got $200,000 to spread on this mm -hmm. all. So what is the priority? That's all I'm trying to say. I just want to get the priority right. Okay, if you you got anything else? I just have one question yes, for Gail. How is the striking yes. project going and is it going pretty well? Have you started? Yeah. We, we've um, sent out the, uh, uh, the list mm -hmm. of, of roads mm -hmm. and we're waiting for the pricing to come back so we can alert the company. Okay. So we'll be striping and reflectors? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all I have. Uh, right. All right. Uh, Gary Watson? Yes, sir. Anything else? No, I'm good right now. you good, man. <laughs> you got marketing. You guys are all squared away coming to, you know, and give me at the end of the year one of the back side. You okay? Yes, sir. Um, county Administrator? I'm good. Miguel? I'm good. I'm good. All right, mm -hmm. um, let this be future. Thank you, guys. Yeah. This stuff, I know, Miguel. Oh.